ragazzi! So what are we doing today? Today we're going around to some very unique and interesting food experiences in New York City to see how they are. We just enjoy the food and we're gonna review the food. And the experience. And the experience. All this about crazy food in New York City. Let's go. Are you a pasta eater? What question is this? <laughs> yeah. Have you Let ever me... eaten pasta in a cheese wheel before, Amore? Yes. You've eaten it in the wheel? No, never. I was like, why? Really? <laughs> it's all over Instagram and TikTok and whatever. This guy who opened a pasta eater, he first opened Couch and Pepe, which is the one everybody knows about. The one that's super famous where they make the pasta in the big yeah. wheel. Yeah. So he opened this one. So we're going to go check out this one because that one is like crazy fast. <laughs> So we start really good. We always have good experiences when there's aqua di <laughs> Yes, when it's <laughs> Italian bread, we got it. So guys, I think we're gonna go with the wheel. The signature dish. What do you do? I'm on <laughs> After all this time, you always cut me. When you least expect it, I'm on it. When you least yes, expect yeah. it. Look how beautiful I'm on it. Bruschetta, no bruschetta. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, what? Where is your happy dance? It's delicious. I'm the king, the prosciutto. I'm from Friuli. Better than me. You just hey, I shake it because do you see how it did? <laughs> that is hope. Try to say a better word. Paradise. Paradise. You can understand me. It's paradise. I told you. Heaven. Heaven. This was the sin. He picked it out from there. From there. Trieste, io sono Trieste. E io sono di Pordenone. Di Pordenone? Sì. Quindi sì, siamo lì. Siamo lì, dai. Oh, ma. Sì, hai fatto tutto tu. Le noci. La burrata. Ho seccato un po' la. i pomodorini. Mi è piaciuto proprio. Sì. La burrata ora si è arrivata tiepida, però. Sì. Eh, come, eh, sei come la Puglia, eh, no, no. La Puglia, una zia pugliese. Oh. <ride> che forte. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Sì, beh, guarda. Guarda, guarda che... Sei una meraviglia perché mai mangiato così. Oh, è New York, è difficile oh, mangiare è bene. È difficile, però tutti hanno lavorato. Non, lavorato non questa. Bello. Non questa. Non questa. Sì, da Pordenone. <ride> Friuli. Olè. <ride> Pasta from a cheese wheel, amore. Best pasta. Really? Best pasta. Close the can. Amore. It's really bad if it's good. I know, I know, I love it when I eat really good. I'm already happy to yeah. just from the experience. This is a hidden gem. Yeah. Hidden gem. Incredible. I don't even want to talk anymore. I'm just going to eat. Yeah, I don't know why holding the camera. I'm sorry. This vlog is going to interrupt right now. It's over. So. Wow. 
tiramisu is from Friuli. I mean, so if we have a Friulan on here. Do you want that? I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> <laughs> I can stop eating and cry. This is very authentic. Oh. Oh, so we start going. We start to go higher. Authentic, authentic. Authentic, authentic. authentic. You can taste the, the milk, the pecora. Yeah. I agree. It's the pepper. I agree. It is the pepper. Oh, you are really good now. Ah. I teach you. Wow. Paraguay. Paraguay triste. Ma sai cos'è la cosa più bella che il proprietario è siciliano? Oh, veramente? Sì, sono squisita, squisita. E lui ha una mentalità di negozio bellissima. Cioè, apre pasta iper a tutte le regioni, a tutte le persone che possono rapportare qualcosa italiano. Italiano. Perché noi italiani non conosciamo niente della Sicilia. Sì, le cose Sì, le basi. La cultura culinaria è grandissima. Le specialità di tutti i posti in un unico posto. In un unico posto però con professionisti. Con professionisti dell'area. Dell <ride> is a baby. I love the best. Voila. Ah, it's a baby, baby. <laughs> Amore? I know, I know who You have to hit me. <laughs> we need to go. I know, bro. You need nowhere. to come with me. This is it. This is it. What is my friend? Amore, we have to leave. No. We can come back. You leave. We can come back. We have other things to do. We need to leave the restaurant. Amore, this is the best ever pasta cat I've ever eaten in my history. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Seconda avventura della giornata. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Second adventure. He thinks he's in Italy now. <laughs> yes. It is windy. So, now we're gonna That's go sad. eat. Where? Rolfs, Rolfs, which is an iconic place in New York City for Christmas magic. It's pretty warm. And it's very loud. Yeah. Go no Christmas. It's very magical. It's very magical. Exactly. The beauty is here. I want to try. Hi, my darling. Actually, it's really good. Chicken schnitzel. I don't know what it is, but... There's not much flavor there. It's sort of like dough. This is really good. Our first bite for ourselves. Really good. First Just so you know, we do have time restraints on the table. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay.
because my house is well served. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no flavor, no nothing. Yeah. Green beans are average. You know, they're green beans. Nothing spectacular. Mashed potatoes, average, but it's still yummy because they're mashed potatoes. But this, I really enjoy it. Definitely here you pay for the atmosphere. Yeah, atmosphere is hundred. Yeah. A little bit bumpy after that. Okay. I'm without plate. They take my plate. We were seated at 6.06. It's almost 6.46, so 40 minutes. So in theory, we have 20 or so minutes left. But they're ready to... <laughs> Kick you up. Customer small. <laughs> So Alessia and I have a hard time hiding our emotions on our faces. <laughs> right, Amore? Right. When he gets upset about the food, it shows on his face. I get upset about something different. <laughs> I think she's trying to get us out of here by 7. Yeah. But she doesn't realize we didn't sit down until 6 yeah. So Amore, we spent hundred and six dollars. Yes. I for me for average everything, average uh tegolini, how you call it, the green beans, average everything. <laughs> the food overall is very average. I'm giving it a five. The experience is good, but they try to kick you out. In every Italian restaurant I know then even the best ones, they never kick you out, actually. This is definitely like a, a rotating factory type feeling. Yeah. Get them in, get them out, get them in. Get in, get them out. They, they try to pick up our bread, our, everything. <laughs> before like, we were finished. Before we finish, they try, and then they apologize multiple times because they keep taking the place that we was not finished, you know? And we technically could still be in there for another five minutes. We Even more. Early. We left early because for the pressure that they give you, like, get out from here. I'm going to give atmosphere a 10, though. It is beautiful inside. Magical. I loved the Christmas light atmosphere. I know you felt too cramped, but I liked it. But the service? Service zero. Come to do your experience. And I say, yes, come. Uh, I come back. Me, personally, no. Yeah. It's like a one and done. One and done. Come. Cool for the experience. Be prepared to spend a lot for average food. Less than average service. But a nice something to see. Another thing to say is if you don't want to pay for dinner, you can always stand at the bar. It's really crowded, as you can see from Alessio's shot, but you can still take in the beauty of the space by taking a drink at the bar. Really crowded. We try to go to Gelso and Grand for the giant cunolo that you smash and has all these crazy decorations on it. And apparently they stopped doing them two months ago. Yes. After years. Maybe the cunolo was that good. Probably. Probably it wasn't, but so disappointing. So yeah. we're on to something else. Yeah, the cannoli is suspicious. They are famous the, how many years? Like six years for this big giant cunolo. And we go inside. Oh no, we don't have it. No, we don't have it. I'm sorry, we don't have cannoli here. <laughs> like, they, uh, okay. <laughs> they is, took it off two months ago. What? How convenient is that? What a coincidence. Do you think? <laughs> They're scared of you. <laughs> no, I don't think so. But do you think? <laughs> can, you know, I said to be suspicious after thinking, thinking, thinking. <laughs> What is this place? This is Black Tap Burgers and Craft Beer, but they also do something called the Freak Shake, which is these crazy milkshakes, which I think actually originated in Australia. I think we can thank our Australian friends for this, but let's go and try that. Let's go here. try it, eh? What is this, Amora? It's a cake shake. I feel the cake on top. Alright, alright. 
<laughs> You're gonna make a huge disaster. Oh my god. It's fabulous. Oh my god. Eat some cake. <laughs> there you go. I love you, man. Only you can do this. Only a man. I think we have to eat the cake first. Go. It actually tastes like cake. Yeah. The shake part. We're making all the kids jealous. Yeah. <laughs> There's a table of little kids. Demi, tell me your experience. My experience was good. Yes. I've always wanted to try something like that. It was crazy and it was wild and weird. Yes. But it was super, super sweet. Like, way too sweet. The milkshake part was good. I loved it. I wouldn't complain about it at all. But the cake, the icing on the cake was like an inch thick and it was too much. Yeah. So it's something you can enjoy for fun, but be warned, it is super duper sweet. What do you think about it? I agree with you everything because you start to be Italian here. With uh, this in New York. You've trained me to your standards. Yeah, uh, obviously it's American cake, too sweet. This for America, gonna love this stuff. It's fun. It's fun. The shake is incredible inside. It's not that sweet. It's just the cake, the icing cake. Okay, I'm not for that. I love this for how it is, but I was going to the brownies and other things. Yeah, the cake is the craziest looking one, but the other ones probably taste better. Taste better, yes, yes. So I approve this, come here, try it, and... Um, fun experience. Fun, really fun experience, yes. to the Magic Hour rooftop at Moxie Hotel. It's supposed to be beautifully decorated for winter. Okay, let me... Alright. So back. We're back out on the street again. Because no cameras. No cameras at all. So... Okay. You can bring your phone and maybe take a pictures, right? I guess, because I see pictures all over Instagram and stuff. I guess you can take your phone and take pictures. Yes. But no camera. No professional cameras like we are. <laughs> Niente. Niente, guys. Niente. So we but can't review it. But we can review it, but... Um, if you're interested, though, it's called Magic Hour. It has cool pictures online. Very beautiful, but we just can't show you here. So we don't finish, huh? No. <laughs> have a last minute change of plans. Yeah, last minute change of plans. Where we are? I am right, we're back to Italy. <laughs> but where are we going? We're going up this time to try Sarah, the rooftop. We're amazing decor for the season. The yes. change every season the decor. With different decor. We should have fall or Christmas. I think it's gonna still be fall. Fall. We haven't got, gotten We are Italians, we are Italians. Yeah, it has to be seasonal. Season. Let's check it out.
so cozy in here, aren't it? Yes, it is. It's really beautiful, damn beautiful. Maybe better than Moxie, whatever. This is much damn beautiful. I think so too. Wow. <laughs> So are you ready? It's so beautiful. I just want to look at the ceiling. Much, much better than where so we were going. Beautiful. It makes me want to come every single season to see how they change. Yeah, the Christmas, part. I saw the pictures with the Christmas, Christmas lights all over the place. Plus, a lot of uh, Christmas tree decor. Beautiful. Amazing. Guarda qua. Look at this. Chin chin. Chin chin. I'm not really a big drinker or a cocktail person, but this is delicious. Okay, let's see if it's good or not with the same. Surprising is really good. Oh wow. Uh oh. <laughs> He's dancing happy dance. We're in trouble. With the music again you can never hear because it's copyright. Mangiamo. Beh sì, per asciugare ci vuole sempre il pane, no? This is actually an Italian thing. First you drink all this and then you try. What it is? All right, we have crocchette di zucca. Crocchette di zucca. And insalata autunnale con faro. Radicchio. Amore, this is radicchio di Treviso or radicchio normo? Treviso. Why? Because it's long. Right? <laughs> is that the right answer? Mystery. Is it Viva right? mystery. In the video. You guys are gonna need a comment. <laughs> what is this? Treviso? Radicchio oh, it is. di Treviso is famoso. It's the best. It's the best. But it's amarognolo. Amaro. Oh, very bitter. You can already tell it's Italian because it's not covered in dressing. This is one of the best things I've Heaven. ever seen. Heaven. Oh it's melting in you. In my opinion, go for it with this. Double. Yes, double. As double. many of these as you can get. This are something. You have to try this. A level. You have to try. You know, understanding in feel if you try this softness. Ragazzi, this is amazing. Trust me. I want 50 of these for my dinner, please. Trust me. This smells amazing, guys. So, what is this? So, this is roasted squash with like a cheese and pomegranate seeds. Yes. Okay. I don't know what else to say. It smells amazing. Casa di ragù di funghi. Isaac. This is amazing. Are you no? It's not your favorite funghi, huh? I usually hate mushrooms. All this is in incredible. Italy. All in Italy, you eat funghi. What are you gonna eat? About? Everything. No, because I'm eating this. So what are you doing? We drink. Are <laughs> oh, you already finished? Finally, mushrooms. Finally, good mushrooms. Not mushrooms from a can. I need to say, America cannot do zucca like we do. No, this is a restaurant of five stars. America. You never eat zucca. You with your pumpkin pie. This is it. Now is the hard part, dividing. Yes. Now we're gonna fight. fight. We need to turn off the camera so we don't fight I over think the so. food. Italian. Super light. A lot of people told us why you eat so much but you don't get weight. Because the food is fresh and the food is light. Light. It's not like when you go to Olive Garden, you eat one plate of pasta and you feel like after. 
so many cheese and that. No. So heavy. This is so light and fresh and refreshing. You can eat so much. Like I said, 50 croquette. Cro yeah. Croquette. Yeah. And I'd be good. Yeah. So we have tiramisu and panna cotta. Panna cotta con melle. So a caramel apple, panna cotta, and a tiramisu. Panna cotta. That's it. Back. It's the second taste that hits you after it's delicious. Tiramisu. Get the cookie. Manyai mori. <laughs> Another tiramisu good. In US, here, New York, where we've been, they know how to do tiramisu. Yes. This never happened in my life, in US. <laughs> experiences, beautiful atmosphere, and beautiful Alessio. <laughs> the drink, huh? Okay, ragazzi. Ciao! Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> Eccola qua. Did you miss us? Yeah.